What's going on, guys? Hey, it's Anthony here at the Breakout Daily. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, guys. We have a stack of 21 books we just got back from CGC. We are going to do a Guess This Grade show today, so you're going to want to stay tuned. So we have 21 books fresh back from CGC. We're going to have a fun time. I'm going to play guess this great. This show is going to, I'm going to try to go as quick as I can. We do have 21 books. So I'm going to show you the book. You guess the grade and see if you're right or not. And then we're going to talk through them real briefly. It's going to be a very, very fast paced show. Guys, if you're not subscribed here on our YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. And of course, don't forget Follow us over on Instagram at breakperiod.daily and over on the whatnot at, at Breakout Daily as well. Let's dive into this. 21 bucks. Let's get ready to go. All right. First one on our list is going to be this guy. Actually, it's a gal. It is the variant for Invincible 144. Gorgeous incentive cover. This is a hard book to find. This book came in very, very clean. Guys, take a look at this thing. It's a very, very, very nice, crispy book. There's the front. There's the back. Take a quick look at it. High grade is what I was shooting for. And my friends, we got a 9.8 on this Invincible 144 white pager beautiful book variant hard to find period hard to find in high grade of course as well and that is the final issue of invincible if you were not aware it is also marcus murphy becomes kid invincible tara grayson becomes invincible and invincible number one cover homage and it is the last issue that is our first book did you guess that book right let's go to the next one there are some books in here that may surprise you. Let's go to our next book. And this is the Invincible Skybound 5th Anniversary Edition. Invincible number one. There it is. Be another beautiful book, guys. Beautiful book. Sharp corners. Beautiful spine. No apparent ticks. Beautiful back. What did we get on the Invincible Skybound 5th Anniversary Edition. Well, let's take a look. That is right. A 9-8 as well. So we are batting for a 1,000 on this box. But I will tell you this. There's going to be a couple of surprises in here. I was surprised uh, both good and bad in this box. Uh, probably, probably my best and most well-rounded CGC order to date. I will give them that. Let's do this next one. Gotta watch this. I don't want it to fall. This is a heavy box because there's all 21 in there. All right, the next one. This is uh, Totally Awesome Hulk. First appearance of Weapon H, Old Man Logan, Sabretooth, Domino, Warpath, and Lady Deathstrike appearance. Totally Awesome Hulk. Issue number 20. To another gorgeous book. I did press this book in preparation for CGC. Beautiful book, though. Nice, sharp corners, beautiful spine. No apparent issues. What did we get? Well, my friends, we got oops, another 9-8. Added to the collection. Let's keep it going. So that was, again, Totally Awesome Hulk. Number 22, First Appearance of Weapon H. Let's 
keep it going. Here's another one. This is another super cool book. Mo possible movie spec. Hold on. Let me move this. Uh, move this CGC box. I fear that as I take these books out, um, they might fall, and I don't want them to fall. All right. So the next book is God of War number one. This is from 2010. DC Wildstorm collection. Another beautiful book. Fresh right out of the box. And guys, just so you know, when I do these CGC unboxings, I take a quick look beforehand um, and I don't go over these in any kind of method or with a fine tooth comb until I do these videos. So this is God of War number one. And it, again, another very, very sharp and clean copy of this book. Beautiful, beautiful book. My friends... What did we get? Another 9.8 on this guy. So again, we are batting for a thousand. I'm putting these back on because I have another show I'm going to be. I'm going to do a live show with guests this grade. If you guys want to participate, that's over on the Whatnot app. Um, and yeah, so all right. Next one on the list, Moon Knight. Third printing the 2016 Lemire run. I love this run. If you guys haven't read this series, it is very well done. Jeff Lemire uh, wrote it. And this is, I have the second, oh, actually I've got all first, second, and third print. Second print, I have it in nine, eight. But what did we get on the third print of this book? And these books are fairly easy to tell the difference in uh, which printing it is because of the color difference. The green printing is the third. The blue printing is the second, and I believe the black printing is the first. So what did we get? Another sharp book, front and back. Let's take a look. Well, we got a 9.8 on this guy as well. So again, we are, what are we? Four for four, five for five for five. Nine eights on this thing. Um, this is a crispy copy, though. All, all of these books are legitimate 9-8 books. Uh, there's zero defects. Super clean, lay flat, just gorgeous books. Now I'm going to give you a little tip on this next one. This is the first book out of the ser or out of the books I've ran, and there is several more to come. One, two. Yeah, there's several more to come that are not... Nine eight. This next book is not a nine eight. So there's a tip for you. Let's uh, see what we got. We got Black Knight number one from 1990. Original Black Knight costume, or uh, uh, excuse me, original Black Knight returns. Captain America Hawkeye appearance. And this is that 1990 run right there. Beautiful book. I was actually expecting a little higher than what this grade is. Um, super clean book. Nice corners nice spine really no real visible defects um some slight slight rub on the uh slight rub on the spine that's all i could see and unfortunately it's time to guess that grade what did we get nine two on this one um i was thinking a nine four maybe a nine six and i wasn't expecting a nine eight on this one um, because there was light rub on it, but nine, that seems seems a little tough on the grade on that one. However, it is a new stand. It is from 1990, and a 9.2 is what we've got. So let's keep going. This next book I was super stoked on. Um, that is Blade Number 1. These books are hard to find. I have not seen many books from this series this is the blade strange tales run when they were doing the when marvel was doing these weird spin-off with the strange tales in 98 um this is so blade one strange tales blade first spectacular issue and here it is another another very very nice book nice sharp corners all the way around no visible defects a near mint copy for sure but what do you think this is well 
This is a 9.6 on this one. Fortunately, we didn't get a 9.8. I'm not sure why. I only got graders notes on one book out of all 21. So that's a little clue for you. But again, a gorgeous book, a hard book to find. Um, they're just, it wasn't a huge printed book. And um, I just, I haven't seen very many of those, especially in high grade or graded at all. Let's keep it going, guys. Next one, Scar, Son of Hulk, issue number one. This is an A cover. This book has been hot. We'll continue to. I think we're in like the medium low on the value of this book for solo series. Um, and I can't remember there is a first appearance in this. Then and this is quoted as the first official full appearance, even though there's some controversy around that. My friends, Scar, Son of Hulk number one. What did we get? Again, sharp corners, beautiful spine, beautiful book. Well, we took away another. 9-8, friends. So a 9-8 on the Scar, Son of Hulk. Number one, another beautiful book. In a 9-8, that is what we were looking for. I meticulously went through this order. Um, as mentioned in my last videos, I did throw in some books that you may not be seeing here. But some of these you have seen me reference or discuss, especially the next few books like this one. New Mutants 98 doesn't need an introduction, really. First appearance of Deadpool, Wade Wilson, getting in copycat, Vanessa Carlisle's as Domino. Richter leaves the New Mutants, guys. New Mutants 98, newsstand edition, Sharp Corners. This is a beautiful book. Um, this is, this, this really is a nice book. Very, very subtle and minor defects on this. Um, the, the top corner, very subtle defects. The other front-facing corner, very subtle defects. Nothing crazy on this book. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous copy of this book to include the back as well. Guys, New Mutants 98, newsstand edition. What did we get on this book? We got a 9-4 on this one, um, which, which I'm actually happy with. 9-4, I'm feeling pretty good about. This one, I would say between a 9.4 and a 9.6 contender. Um, but to be honest, because of what they are, I was hesitant to say that either one of these copies, because we've got another copy we're going to talk about, we're going to hit a 9.4. I'm super stoked it did, but I was hesitant because generally speaking, CGC is very critical of top keys. And here is ish, the next issue. Same thing as the last one, New Means 98. Second issue that I submitted. Now, this one, again, beautiful corners. It is a newsstand. Um, there is a very, very slight twist to the cover. It was just the way that the, the book kind of sits. Um, and that's the just how it came out. So, and a tiny wear on the back of the sky. Here, here, tiny, tiny, just a hair touch right there. So, I would say this is... To give you a hint on guess this grade, this is a slightly lesser quality book than the book I just showed you. So what did we get on this guy? Well, we got that grade that was a hair down. This is a 9-2 versus the 9-4 we just got. Super happy with a 9-4 or 9-2 on this book and the 9-4, to be honest with you. I feel like both of those grades are fair. And I will happily take them because they both are very nice books, not nine eights. Um, if I would have got a nine eight, I would have been blown away. I was not expecting nine eights in either one of those. Here is another super cool book, another newsstand, New Mutants 87, first appearance of cable. Bam, right there, a nice newsstand, nice square corners, beautiful back on this book. Um, again, I don't have notes on these, I wish I did. This book actually looks better than the New Mutants 98, in my opinion. Does have two hairline um, spine ticks on it. What grade do you guys give this book? Let's take a look and see what they gave us. A 9-2 to match the other 9-2. And I'm okay with that. Um, I knew it was better than an 8-5 because I had an 8-5 in this book a couple of times. 
And I was hoping for a minimum of a 9.0, 9.2, right around that range. Maximum of a 9.4. I didn't think, I didn't think I'd get a 9.6 with that second tick. Um, and I didn't. So I am good with a 9.2 on that one as well. Uh, this book is a book I've hunted for for a long time. I've mentioned this. I showed this in previous videos. That is Invincible 19, the second print. Now, the second print on this one was before everything was like getting crazy. Actually, the... I wonder if the years, I don't, I don't even know that their year is correct on this. I don't know if the year is correct. Maybe it is. Invincible 19 for spirits of Battle Beast, Magna Attack, Magna Maniac, and Tether the Tyrant. Guys, another gorgeous book. Um, this book is just hard to find. There just wasn't a ton printed. I don't, it says it came out in 21. I didn't think it came out in 21. I'm actually almost positive that that may be wrong. I... I'm thinking that's wrong. I could I could be wrong, but I thought it came out in 20. That is what the label says on the front, 2010 to 2020. Anyways, second print of Invincible 19. Um, super cool book. Very hard to find. Limited print. And yeah, so we got, what did we get on this? Sharp Corners, Beautiful Spine, gorgeous book. What did we get on this guy? We got a 9-8 on this beautiful book. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's keep it alive. Let's keep it alive. All right, here are some additional new books, and we do got a couple of, or I think one more set of doubles. This is the Boys Whatnot Virgin Edition. This is by Tyler Kirkham. That is the Battle Damage cover. This is a brand new book. Uh, some of these books, not the older ones, but the newer ones, these are unread copies. So you don't get the spine stress that you do generally from older copies. This is issue number three. Beautiful book of Billy the Butcher, Battle Damage, Virgin. What grade did we get on this book? Let's take a look. Oops. This, my friends, is a 9.8. And rightfully so. I mean, this is a super clean book. Actually, all of the 9.8s that I that we re have reviewed at this point are all legit, super clean, no issue, 9.8 books. Um, and I'm glad that that's what they came back as. Let's do another one. Same book. Um, really very close, if not the same grade. The Boys, number three. Virgin, Tyler Kirkham, Battle Damage, Whatnot Exclusive. Beautiful book. This is a reprint of The Boys issue number three, which is a key. And uh, let's see what we got on this one as well. Another 9.8 on this guy. So we got two 9.8s, both the same book. That kind of defuncts a uh, comment that came up in my last one where they feel obligated if you send in doubles to give you a lower grade. Uh, let's see what else do we got. Oh, another beautiful book. One of my favorite cover, recent covers. Ryan Stegman cover. JP Mayer uh, also helped with the cover on this. This is Venom number three. Uh, again, beautiful book. No spine ticks, no spine wear at all. This is an unread copy. Square Corners. First appearance of Null. Let's see if you can guess this grade. Bam, 9.8 on this one. This is actually the third 9.8 I have personally submitted to CGC. And uh, yeah, I think it's freaking awesome. So this one I may keep for the PC. Let's do the boys issue number seven. This is the whatnot exclusive Homelander battle damage. This is the black and white. This is a more limited book. In fact, I should have mentioned that earlier. All of these battle damages are limited books. Gorgeous copy, square corners, sharp, unread spine. So no ticks, no stress, no nothing. And this is, of course, number seven, a, or a reprint of number seven. Another key and another gorgeous Tyler Kirkham cover. Guys, what grade did we get on this? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We've got a... 9.8 on this guy as well. So we took home another 9.8. So we are doing very well on grades, I feel like, across the board. I was very happy with this package. 
There is maybe one book in here that I'm like, well, ah, I don't know. Uh, the next book, World War Hulk, number five. This is, I believe it's a one in 25 variant. Um, scarce book, not a ton printed. Is this a, I think it's a John Romita Jr. cover. Is this a junior cover? JR, JR, I think it is. It is. Okay. So John Romita Jr. cover, and I'm talking World War Hulk 5, Century and Hulk on the cover. But my friends, this is the first official appearance of Scar. Hulk versus Century is going on. This is a beautiful book. Nice square corners. Nice unread spine. Nonetheless, another gorgeous, gorgeous book. What grade is this book? Well, let's take a look. Nine eight on that guy as well. And this is like these nine eights that I got, though. I'm not all all uh, joking aside. They are absolutely just crispy, crispy books. I mean, looking at them, they you can clearly see if you're a collector at all or have any experience with submitting books um, that it is hard to dispute these nine eights. These aren't bullshit nine eights. Let me just put it that way. All right. Let's kind of speed it up here. We got a few more books and we're going to wrap this thing up. Another, uh, another boys, number three, Tyler Kirkham battle damage. This is the black and white again, a bit more limited. I don't remember what the print counts on these were, but generally these are under 500 uh, as opposed to the uh, colors, which I believe are between 700 and a thousand copies this is the black and white. Another unread, square bound, gorgeous, gorgeous book, guys. What not exclusive. Battle damage, Tyler Kirkham, Billy the Butcher, uh, reprints, what not. Yeah, reprints the boys number three. And what did we get on this one? Swing my finger under it. My friends, another nine eight. And, and another ridiculously gorgeous book. All right, let's see what we got. We only got a couple more books. We're going to try to wrap this up. Try not to run too long. We went through a lot. Uh, Avengers 12, first appearance of Tommy Shepard as Speed. New Avengers appearance and the last issue of the Young Avengers run. This is a beautiful book. Um, however, this did have some defects. I did press this book because it had... I thought it had more than one. I think it does. Some sp light spine stress and a tick on it. Nice square corners, though. Um, so that should give you enough information to let you know it's not a 9-8. But what grade is this beautiful Young Avengers number 12? Well, my friends, this is a 9.4. And uh, as much as I'd like to disagree with it, I would say 9-4, 9-6, gorgeous book um and i was expecting a nine four on this one just because the way it kind of sat and left two more books uh let's do second to last the brand new book unread this is star wars number 26 this is a hot book a bunch i thought there was a bunch of first and i think there is a bunch of first appearances in this um beautiful book though from 2022 sharp corner sharp spine unread copy right off the shelf and what did we get on the Star Wars 26? Well, we walked away with a 9.8. Last book in the run. This is uh, the one book, to give you guys a little bit of a clue, that I was kind of disappointed with. The next book is the only book out of all of these that got greater notes. So think about what it is. Here we go. X-Men Annual 14. First official unofficial appearance of gambit this is a gorgeous freaking copy gorgeous book square corners nice and tight binding on this guy um fantastic four in a, a hab appearance gambit cameo predates uncanny x-men 266 is what it says pinups by kevin nolan and michael golden gorgeous book let's take a look what is the grade on this book guys to the back real quick my friends this book is a 9-0 and the graders note says that it has stress to the front and what that is just oh actually this guy gets to go back see this is what happens when uh i just pulled this out for the first time so you guys get this live um this will be going back to cgc um anyways there is a light stre spine stress to it 
in the case, so I like I said earlier, the I didn't go through these books fully. This case is busted, so this will be going back to CGC. And we'll hopefully be getting fixed. So, anyways, guys, that wraps it up. The X-Men annual is going back. The rest of the books seemed uh, fair, but this one is busted on the bottom. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed. Guess this grade here on the Breakout Daily. Guys, also make sure and stop by our whatnot shows on the weekend. Sometimes we'll throw some pop-up shows at Breakout Daily. We have a great time. You guys can chat with us and everything else. So check us out there and also on Instagram at Daily. If you guys have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, take a second, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Guys, we will catch up with you in the next video.